Keeping you updated now on the breaking news in South Memphis. We get a much closer look now because our crew has made it. Uh, they are on the ground there and we'll be hearing from our Kevin McNamara shortly. Uh, but you can see they are describing this as a vehicle fire and you may look at that and say, well, what kind of vehicle would be that large and cause that kind of fire? We don't know, but it is possible. Mm -hmm. uh, you, we see the big tanker trucks that carry fuel all the time, and it would be likely that one would be on the property there, and that could be uh, could explain that. But nonetheless, it's in a very dangerous location, very close to hundreds of thousands right. of uh, crude oil that has been refined and turned into all the different fuels they make there, the propane, diesel, aviation fuel, gasoline, and uh, that's having a huge impact uh, on traffic and, of course, on the fire crews, which I don't, it's been a long time since I've seen this many right. firefighters responding to one particular event. And this is I-55 near Mallory, mm -hmm. um, and as you can see, both lanes both ways, traffic is shut down, all the lanes there, um, definitely disrupting. We saw it was standstill, and people were actually going around, turning around in the opposite direction because there's no telling how long that they're going to be standing in that traffic. Now, Corey's going to give us an even uh, more views of this massive fire going on. Corey? Yes, Pepper. Let's take a look at uh, Max 3 here. We'll uh, take a look at traffic, show you where everything's kind of going on tonight. Uh, that fire is out here near the Valero refinery. So this is South Memphis here. I've circled the refinery here on the map. I-55 shut down both ways. And as of right now, I would just suggest not trying to travel uh, in this general vicinity of South Memphis. Um, I want to talk about, toss it back to you guys here with more. Well, our crew is on the ground. Kevin McNamara, we're, telling, he, we're being told that he is set up there. So, Kevin, can you give us a little bit more of a look at what you're seeing or any cause or information of what is happening with this fire? Yeah, yeah, good evening. We just got here moments ago. This is, uh, frankly, an incredible scene, actually. Uh, I'm just getting here. You can hear there's an enormous number of fire first responder personnel. I'm going to get out of the shot. You can see the flames coming in from a pretty far distance. This is about as close as we were willing to get, maybe a football field and a half or so. You can see uh, just those incredible flames rising up out in the distance there. you got to certainly feel for anyone that might be nearby or what exactly has happened. Uh, again, we are here on Mallory near I-55. We don't exactly have any more information at this moment as far as uh, exactly what's taken place. I know it's been said that this is a vehicle fire, but I can certainly say uh, as I sit here and those flames are going stronger even now by the moment. It doesn't seem like a fire that has started from a vehicle, but obviously uh, if something were to jump or get closer to some of these refinery plants here on Mallory, uh, and you, who never knows what could happen. Certainly, we're getting a good look at the power of those flames continuing to get stronger just in the moments since I've been here. We've really only been here for probably about two minutes or so. Uh, as you can imagine, of course, traffic blocked off, diverted both ways. Uh, traffic certainly impacted. Cert be aware of that if you are heading down here to this southwest Memphis area, I-55 and Mallory. Again, there's first fire, fire trucks, first responders, other emergency personnel still coming in here uh, as we speak. They've got numerous uh, police vehicles, again, uh, all set up here on Mallory. Uh, again, just looking at this incredible, these flames that are just growing by each moment, you certainly feel uh, that more needs to be done right now to get these under control, make sure they don't spread to some of these neighborhoods or uh, possibly even to traffic uh, as they keep coming in. But I'm still looking to get more info again on exactly what's happened. I know it said this occurred a little bit after 930 uh, is when this call came in, diverting both ways. So certainly this is something that is still growing by the moment and by the minute. We certainly hope that uh, more is done. But as I'm even looking at it right now, those flames still getting faster, higher, and stronger. So certainly a lot of concern here in southwest Memphis. As we continue to learn more, we'll stay on the scene and try and figure it out. But I, 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 yeah, it's just blown up again behind me. This is kind of uh, an incredible scene here. Uh, if you can even believe it, this is absolutely outrageous. Uh, the flames continuing to get stronger. They do have some crews on the scene right now, and it's going in and in. There, there are fire personnel here trying to get it under control, but the flames are, again, just growing higher and stronger by the second. This is certainly going to take more of a response than we're currently seeing because it is not 
under control Kevin, by any Kevin, means at, if you at can this hear point. Us, really Kevin, stop. If you are side. in any amount of danger, yes. then we need, we all need you guys to move. move no, out it's there. okay. It's I'm, I am. I appreciate your. I appreciate your concern. I feel safe uh, right here, right now. All right, well, uh, keep your, keep a safe distance change, for sure. We move farther uh, back. We're uh, very interested in the in the large fire response. I would imagine that usually when we have situations like that, let's go ahead and stay if we can on the on that shot because I want to make sure that if there's going to be any more flare-ups, uh, we get an idea just the extent of uh, how serious this is. Anyway, what I'm, what I'm going at here is they usually will set up a command post at some point, mm -hmm. and that's when we'll start to get some answers. But they're too busy right now uh, to answer our questions. They have a huge uh, fire on their hands that uh, surpasses anything we've seen in quite some time in the Memphis area. And, of course, it couldn't be mm -hmm. at a more dangerous location. The Valero Refinery, as I've said at the top of the newscast, is as big as it gets in Memphis, and it supplies gasoline for all our cars in the Memphis area, no matter where you get gas, and aviation fuel to FedEx. And this call came in again at 9.30, and it's uh, nearing an hour now, and they still haven't been able to get under control. It looks like it's even getting more out of control. But we will have another look and check in. We'll have another look at weather and a check-in with Kevin when we get back.